గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఓల్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద సెవెంటీయత్ బ్యాచ్ ఆఫ్ యోగా ఇన్ ది సెంటర్ వీ ఆర్ స్టార్టింగ్ సెవెన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ వన్ క్లాస్ హియర్ ఇన్ ది సెంటర్ వితౌట్ ఇంటరప్షన్ వితౌట్ ఎనీ బ్రేక్ వీ హ్యావ్ బీన్ కండక్టింగ్ యోగా క్లాసెస్ హియర్ దట్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇస్ ఎ బ్లెస్సింగ్ యోగా యోగా ఈస్ టు ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఎ డిసిప్లిన్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఎ వన్ ఆఫ్ ఈవెంట్ ఇట్స్ ఎ కంటిన్యూయస్ కంటిన్యూయస్ సాధన ఇస్ రిక్వైర్డ్ టు సీ ద బెనిఫిట్ హ్యూమన్స్ హ్యూమన్స్ ఆర్ సోషల్ అనిమల్స్ దే వాంట్ టు సోషలైజ్ వితౌట్ సోషలైజింగ్ వి కెన్ నాట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ వి వాంట్ టు కనెక్ట్ కనెక్ట్ విత్ అదర్స్ దెర్ ఆర్ టూ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ కనెక్షన్ వన్ ఈస్ అప్వర్డ్ కనెక్షన్ వన్ ఈస్ డౌన్వర్డ్ కనెక్షన్ ద డౌన్వర్డ్ కనెక్షన్ వి ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ బోగా కనెక్టింగ్ అవర్ సెల్ఫ్ టు ద లోవర్ పాసిబిలిటీస్ ఇన్ అవర్ లైఫ్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ బోగా వైల్ ద కనెక్టింగ్ అవర్ సెల్ఫ్ టు ద హయ్యర్ పాసిబిలిటీస్ ఇన్ లైఫ్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ యోగా దేర్ ఆర్ హయ్యర్ పాసిబిలిటీస్ ఇన్ యువర్ లైఫ్ how how about you achieve that one to able to connect to the higher possibilities is called as yoga and lower possibilities is bhoga bhoga um, is nothing but uh, draining out what we have what we have it is draining out yoga means to acquire what we do not have acquire something higher what we do not have is called as yoga what we are having draining it out is called as bhoga and um, uh, the yoga everyone whatever we want to acquire we want to retain also what we acquire we want to retain that one that retention part is called as kshema what you retain is called as kshema that yoga and kshema must go in hand in hand what you acquire acquire new things it should not drain out through your bhoga it should not drain out you should retain that one that is called as yoga and kshema yoga and kshema goes in hand in hand when we connect to the higher possibilities in our life higher possibilities you have to connect with someone the best the most highest you can connect is the supreme lord it is he is most perfect most complete most pure connect with him always you are on upward journey and what you acquire you will retain that is what bhagavad gita shri krishna talks about ananya chintayanto mam ye janaha pariyupasate tesham nitya biyuktanam yoga kshemam vaham yaham you connect with me i will give you what you do not have i will make sure that you retain what you acquire yoga and kshema i will uh, give it to you to yoga yoga and kshema to dawn in us always the concept is we should not live for ourselves when you are living for yourself that mean then the bhoga comes into play and drains out what you have when you live for others your life is dedicated you are reaching out for others then your higher possibilities yoga and kshema dawns in you the everyone aspire to have the uh, acquire new things in their life and retain new things we don't nobody wants to be ordinary we want to acquire near, higher things and retain that one so yoga is universal yoga is universal everyone wants to acquire new things and everyone wants to retain that one yoga is not confined to one religion is not confined to one race it's not confined to um one um, the section of the people it is not confined to only young people or old people or i am not uh, flexible everyone who are aspiring for yoga and kshema are welcome into the portals of yoga who ever wants to acquire i want to acquire new things and i want to retain 
whoever wants to do that one, they are welcome into the portals of yoga. Everyone is welcome and um, yoga, um, uh, the, uh, the uh, yoga, balova, yuvava, vruddhova, ativruddhova, krishava, in the uh, scripture talks about whether you are a child, whether you are an adult, whether you are an old person, whether you are a very, very, very old person or whether you are a sick person, everyone can derive benefit by practicing yoga. And uh, we are, this earth, planet earth is uh, moving very fast, 30 kilometers per second. Earth is moving at 30 kilometers per second. Earth is called as a vehicle. We are all mounted on, mounted on this vehicle. We are on a uh, journey, cosmic journey, traveling at 30 kilometers an hour. And in that earth, the, we are planted here. This body is also called as a vehicle. Earth is a vehicle. We are traveling in that vehicle. And we are, uh, this body also is called as a vehicle. As a traveler, traveler, we should know how to look after that vehicle, planet Earth, and this vehicle. Currently, Earth is in SOS. It's a red alert. It's a Earth is in crisis. The existence of Earth is itself is in danger. Across the world, everyone, the, no one is exempted. Everyone is ex um, affected by global changes and uh, climatic con uh, situation and the floods, uh, famine, um, uh, fire and uh, drought, energy crisis and uh, nobody is spared. Countries are being wiped out, becoming bankrupt. <coughs> earth is in a tipping point. One is the earth. That vehicle is in danger. How to look after the earth? You can look after the earth vehicle provided you know how to maintain this vehicle. You understand this one. This vehicle, the makeup of this vehicle is similar to when you understand this one, you can know, you know how to maintain the planet Earth, that vehicle. Understand how to look after this one. Know how to look after yourself, this vehicle. Then you know how to uh, look after that one. To understand this vehicle, I should know, I should become a mechanic. Everyone must become a mechanic to look after. How, what is this body? Body is a vehicle. This, understand, the outer casing. Outer ca ca casing of this body, this vehicle, is called as Annamaya Kosha. Annamaya Kosha, is, uh, it gives a skeletal structure. Outside, out, out, outer framework. Outer framework it's a understand your anatomy, understand the components, main limbs of this body, hands, eyes, uh, legs, your uh, senses, understands the, understand the limbs of this vehicle, Annamaya Kosha. And within that one, that to run the vehicle, what you need is a energy. You can't put any fuel into any vehicle. You should know what fuel to put in. The put in the energy component. You can't put a diesel to a petrol vehicle or you can't charge 240 volts to an electric car. They want 24 volts or 12 volts. You should know what fuel to put in to what vehicle. The energy what we get is called a pranamaya. Pranamaya, it is talking about mindful of the energy you are putting into the vehicle so that you will get the energy, mindful of the fuel, the energy part. It is a pranamaya kosha. And what about the mind? You are a traveler, manomaya kosha. It is talking about how to travel safely. You are not getting embroiled in road rages along the way. You should know how to coexist with other co-travelers. Manomaya kosha. And Vijnana Maya Kosha is talking about all through you have been following the traffic and following others. Vijnana Maya Kosha is talking about you have been following so, following so far. Now how about you take the lead? Instead of following, why don't you be a leader? 
you position yourself instead of a follower become a leader so that others you set a trend for others to follow vijnana maya kosha ananda maya kosha it is nothing but i am mounted on this vehicle my journey should be smooth comfortable i should not be nuisance to others comfortable i should have a i enjoy the journey ananda maya kosha when i understand this vehicle when i am traveling this way and at the time of disembarkation from this vehicle when you are disembarking like people go in a gold coast a roller coaster ride as they are coming off everyone is so happy wow what a journey what a ride everyone is happy getting off that uh, roller coaster ride when you are em- disembarking from the body you should be thrilled what a journey how marvelous i enjoyed this journey thoroughly i enjoyed this journey that when you are embarking the uh, uh, mounted who is the soul he should feel i enjoyed thoroughly enjoyed what a journey you should enjoy with happiness you should get off when you understand this one when you look after how to look uh, know how to look after yourself you know how to look after this planet earth and when you know that one when you are mounted on this one you will enjoy this cosmic journey you can't say it's a holiday i have to go on a ho- uh, trip i'm so bored at sitting at home you are traveling at 30 kilometers an hour second and you are on a cosmic journey how can you say i am so bored sitting at home you are already you are on a cosmic journey enjoy the cosmic journey be mounted on this vehicle properly understand this vehicle and look after the bigger vehicle which is traveling at 30 kilometers per second and enjoy the cosmic ride yoga enables you